Welcome back to another crypto video. What's up guys and girls? Thank you for joining me once again. First things first, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button because we've got a lot to talk about and there's lots of future content coming out that will add value to your life in the sense that you're going to get time sensitive, key information, opportunities on um, altcoins, you know, larger market cap coins and just potential trading opportunities. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to be a, be the sort of person that's going to tell you something's going to go to the absolute moon. I like to be pragmatic, almost like I'm a bearish bull. Um, but that's just the way it is. So please subscribe if you are new here. Anyway, today I want to look at refinance. So we're just sitting at zero point zero two five dollars. Um, currently, we only have a market cap of three hundred twenty five million. So it's a kind of like a medium market cap, potentially even low. I mean, for me, well, if you look at the market dominance, zero point zero one percent. So this is really quite a, a small altcoin project. However, I do think it has due to the fact you know it's got some solid fundamentals if you research this project it's got some really strong um, utility fantastic developers so if we take a look we can see on the one hour up 1.6 percent 24 hours we're up 1.8 over the week we're up 12.5 over the 14 days we're up 23.4 and over the 30 days i mean look at that 70 percent. that's fantastic fantastic so let's jump into the chart what i'm seeing right now so, of course, around January, you know, things kicked off. This was launched on, uh, I believe, the Binance Exchange around then. So, of course, we saw a lot of trading volume, um, massive amount of kind of consolidation around here, as you can see. Um, but we took that first massive impulse and we, you know, we come back down to the 0.786 Fibonacci. And basically, that's where we bottomed out within that range. We had all this accumulation here. So what's kind of happened now in my eyes is we've got this cup shape, which is really, really nice. We've had a lot of accumulation and this is a cup that's played out over just over two months now. So we had our continuation. We had our spring here, impulse wave up. And what we're seeing now is this massive kind of resistance zone all the way across here. We've got a lot of resistance at this neckline of the cup. But if we do break to the upside, because the longer these cups play out for, the more likelihood they have of breaking out. I mean, we might get a rejection. It's not abnormal. I mean, look at that. It is possible to see a 33% pump back up to these uh, resistance levels over there at the top. If we, get, if we go up Fibonacci once again and uh, have a look, you can see that the golden ratio, the 1.618, let's just draw that out a little bit, it does come up to exactly where all that consolidation is. You see right within the center so that is our golden golden target and if we do see some confirmation a lot of volume then potentially this is where um we can look because we've got the cup we had a handle and it's turned into an ascending triangle which is already quite a bullish pattern and if it's a continuation to the upside we'll see i think in the, the more means sort of short term if we just take the top of this wick over here I think we might be able to get $0.028. Not very significant, no, but it's still a nice move in terms of percentage. It's a 10% move, and that will break us out of this key resistance, creating it as a new support, allowing us to move forward. Um, of course, we also need to consider what can happen in a bearish scenario. So first of all, let's just remove, remove our potential long opportunity and just hit a price tag over there. So that's our target in the short term. Of course, we are going much higher than that in the future. There's no doubts about it. But what we want to check is where can we correct to? Where can we correct to? So if we have a look at our point two Fibonacci, potentially a level we can come down as to 0 0.21. Or if we come down lower, 0 0.1 itself. So we've got 0 0.021, guys, and 0 0.01a. So these are potential shorting opportunities if we fall out of the ascending triangle. Uh, so keep your eyes on that. I think we'll get a bounce off the uh, 0.2 Fibonacci if I'm honest. So I don't know why when I use TradingView on my laptop, it's just so glitchy. Sorry, guys, bear with me. I hope you're all well, by the way. So I think we'll get a bounce over here. Let's mark that as red resistance. So there's a lovely little cup shape, guys, as we can see. Let's just pull it down so we can get a nice little look at what's going on. 
There we go. So we can see we've got our resistance here. We're trying to bust through this $0.025 resistance here as well. If we come through, we make a 10% long opportunity. So keep your eye out. Set your trading alerts. I've got mine set right there. And then on the shorting opportunity, you can see on this um, support line here, if we break this, then we come down to potentially 0 0.021 and uh, we retest over there. If we take a look at the RSI itself, we're not overbought at all. 63 on the RSI, that's quite neutral in my opinion. So I have no fears that this has been greeded up or anything like that. I think this could be a very nice one. So keep an eye on it and let me know what you think in the comments. If you're new here, guys, please, please, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and um, see you on the next one. Take care.